Hey guys, North Star Knife Reviews. So, uh, John over at JO Ventures has a new little open tag and little uh, group he's setting up. JO's Sack Pack for Swiss Army Knives. And, um, you know, I, I like Swiss Army Knives. I think they're great, uh, you know, relatively inexpensive. You can really get a lot of utility out of them, uh, whether they're big, small, whatever. Pretty much something for anybody in there. Um, and today, uh, I'm going to start out here just by uh, taking a little look at some classics. Now, John wants us to just show, show some of our socks. So, I got these out. Now, these are not all the classics. These just happen to be the, one I had, the ones I had uh, in my home office here. And so, I uh, just thought we'd take just a quick look at them. This isn't going to be a very long video because uh, most of you, I'm sure, are familiar with these classics uh, maybe not these particular covers but um the classics in general and i'll probably do a few more videos here uh, i think there's a great open tag and maybe john will even let me be a member of the sack pack after this we'll see so uh now personally i'm, I'm gonna be very honest here i find the classics a little bit small um, I prefer something just a little bit bigger. So I don't really carry the classics a whole lot. Uh, that's not to say they aren't good. Um, you know, they pack a lot of utility into a very, very small little package here. But um, I, I like something just a little bit bigger. So mainly I collect them just uh, for all the cool covers you can get. But, um, you know, this, this is just a basic one. But I, I kind of like these uh, translucent covers because you can see what's going on inside. Um, and all of these are going to have the same tools you know, that all you're probably familiar with. You've got the little blade here. Then you have the uh, screwdriver tip on the file. And then the small little scissors. And of course, uh, well, you've got the little key ring because a lot of people do carry these on their keys, I know. And then, of course, you've got the tweezers and the toothpick you know okay so all of these have the same but we'll translucent one then we've got uh this one which i think is pretty cool uh the sardines you can see you've got the victorinox can on here i don't know if any of you eat sardines or when you were little i remember my dad always liked sardines and you had these cans you had the little key and you had to roll the top up so little sardines on one side and then catching them on the other i think that's a pretty cool one uh, one of my favorites, actually, here, William Tell. Um, you know, Switzerland and William Tell go together, and uh, I, I think this is a pretty cool. You've got him on one side with his crossbow, and then uh, his son on the other side with, instead of the apple, you've got the little uh, Victorinox cross on there. Um, little squirrels up in the tree, you know, nice little details like that. One little peeking around the corner there. Uh, I, I really, really like this cover. And then uh, a couple of the Halloween ones. Um, you know, I, I pick up the Halloween ones on occasion uh, because Halloween was one of my favorite holidays as I was a kid, you know, growing up in small town, Iowa. And I still really like these. And I think these are really cool. And I've shown these before, but um, these are both, I believe, yeah, these are both uh from smoky mountain knife works uh their exclusives so uh you can see they both say happy halloween on them and then this one has the witch flying over the woods with the bats and stuff i think that's pretty cool and then this one i really like i like the you've got the little pumpkins the little spider and spider web again i like all the detail you can get on these um there's there's something in these classics for pretty much everybody you know if you're looking for just a little gift to give someone a little knife um the you can do a lot worse than these and because they've got so many covers you can find somebody that's gonna or something that's gonna appeal to just about anyone so just uh you know not particularly uh in depth on the knives but just some cool little covers here i'll show some others maybe a little less common down the line but wanted to get this out today and these happen to be in my office so anyway john thank you uh for the open tag if you guys aren't subscribed to jo ventures outdoors please go do so he's got some fantastic stuff on there uh otherwise hey i will catch you guys next time you all have a great day bye bye